following report to the Royal Geological Society by the undersigned Alexander Saxton is a true and faithful account of events that befell the Society's expedition in Manchuria. As the leader of the expedition, I must accept responsibility for its ending in disaster. But I will leave to the judgment of the honorable members the decision as to where the blame for the catastrophe lies. seat left. My name is Saxton. Alexander Saxton, if you will check, you will find a telegram I sent you three weeks ago instructing you to reserve accommodation for me. There's nothing I can do. Hello? Yes? Yes? Well, well, look who's here. Professor Saxton, I presume. Dr. Wells. And what are you doing in Shanghai? I've asked you the same thing. Oh, I'm just collecting a few specimens. Miss Jones, let me introduce Professor Alexander Saxton. He dabbles in fossils and bones. Glad to meet you, Professor. Glad to do. Miss Jones has been assisting me. Bacteriology, excellent technician. <laughs> For a woman, he means. <laughs> Two mosquitoes, please. Two, you say? Will that be all? And three crates of animals. Impossible. I know I'm asking you to perform miracles, but that's the best. Will help?
Thank you. It's called squeeze in China. The Americans don't know how. And in Britain, we call it bribery and corruption. Now, sir. Excuse me. Alexander Saxton. Yes? Captain O'Hagan, sir. General Wang told me to find you and to make myself useful. Um, uh, now I remember. I do have Your Excellency's ticket. Your, your ticket, right here. Thank you. Oh, And the Lord had mercy on his soul. Not that he deserves it, the dirty thief. You have his things? You knew him. Krasinski, the locksmith. He could open any trunk with a hairpin. A thief? But he was blind. Blind? He could spot a policeman a mile away. Can I be of any assistance, Father? This is yours. It is, but I demand an explanation. Whatever you have here is unholy and must be destroyed. Inspector Mirov, what is in there, Excellency? Fossils. What is a fossil? A stone. Stones. There wouldn't be something valuable in there like gold. Gold? It's a laboratory specimen. No value to a thief. Well, there is God. There is always a place for the cross. Even on this stone floor, just so. But Satan is evil, and where evil is, there is no place for the cross. Rubbish. A conjurer's trick. Captain? Yes, sir. You get your men to put the crate on the train.
are you going to astound the scientific world with this time? You'll read about it in the Society's annual report. It's a remarkable fossil. A fossil? But you've got something live in there. I heard it. You're mistaken. You won't need to feed it, then. The occupant hasn't eaten in two million years. That's one way to economize on food bills. Baggage man. What's the matter with you? Yes, Countess. You have a safe for valuables? Yes, Countess. I shall make out a receipt. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> Alinka's afraid of something. What do you have in that crate? Oh, nothing that would interest Alinka, Madame. <sighs> Normally, she likes Englishmen. All we Poles do. I'm honored, madame. Oh, yes, England. Queen Victoria, crumpets, Shakespeare. I admire Poland, madame. I believe that there is a bond between our countries. My husband, the Count Petrovsky, says that in the 15th century, your King Henry betrayed us to the Russians. Hmm. I hope that you and your husband, madame, will accept my profoundest apologies. Oh, she's really afraid. I wonder what it is. May I escort you back to your carriage, madame? before when that mad monk was carrying on. Yes. I'm an engineer, a scientist. And this is ordinary chalk. How do you explain it not writing on that crate? Hypnosis, yoga. These mystics can be very convincing. They can even hypnotize themselves. The fresh food we will pick up. Uh, who will pay for it, sir? Hmm? Oh, just give an account of how much you spend. Mm -hmm. uh, if um, someone were to drill a little hole in this crate during the night and uh, take a look at what's inside, I'd be very grateful. Help me. In what way, madam? Is this number eight? That's next door, Wells compartment. There, there, don't cry. Everything will be all right. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, dear fellow, I'm afraid you're in the wrong pew. Here, number eight, do you see? 8A, lower berth. 8B, upper berth. <laughs> don't worry, look here. I was supposed to have this compartment to myself. If you don't mind. I'm sorry if I'm in your way. Excuse oh, sure. me, I have no ticket and I have to get out of Shanghai. I'm sure I can make it worth your while. The young lady's in trouble. Well, what do you suggest we do about it? Couldn't you, couldn't you double up with somebody else? Miss Jones, steady. I'm sure we can all get along very well together.
only Englishman comes to call. What should I wear? Sure of yourself, aren't you? The blue one with the décolleté. <laughs> or perhaps the red one. You're jesting with her immortal soul. That's why we keep you, Pujardov. Our immortal souls are your concern. She's afraid of something. Tell me, Pujardo. Yes? Which do you think I should wear for the Englishman? The red or the blue? Enough. I forbid you to talk this way. You forbid? Give me your excellency. My concern for the spiritual welfare of the Countess, I forgot myself. I will pray for humility. Pray hard, Pujardov, or you'll find yourself praying for a job, too. May the Father of the Son Piece I was playing. I wonder who it is. One of you might know what happened to the baggage man. I haven't the remotest idea. What about you? Perhaps it had something to do with what's inside that crate. I agree with you. He was trying to open it when something happened. What? Fortunately, he was interrupted. Yes. By whom? Why are you so worried about it being opened? It, it may be my fault. I asked the baggage man to take a look. I was curious. It was no concern of yours. Or of yours. One man dead, another missing. It's time we open this box. You will do no such thing. Give me the key. with that. in there. I told you, a fossil, part ape, part man. It lived two million years ago. Are you telling me that an ape that lived two million years ago got out of that crate, killed the baggage man and put him in there, then locked everything up neat and tidy and got away? Yes, I am. It's alive. It must be. Lock him up. We'll search the train and find it, whatever it is, and destroy it. But if it's alive... I want this kept quiet. I don't want to panic the passengers.
glass is empty. Oh, forgive me. My mind was elsewhere. What is it? I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Haven't we met? I don't believe so. Yes, at the governor's palace, General Wang. Your mistake. Of course, I beg your pardon. It was somebody else. What's the matter? The eye of that fish. It's white. Naturally, it's boiled. Boiled. Yes. yes. Is it true you're a doctor? Ask me when I finish my dinner. It's urgent. What are the symptoms? He's dead. You saw him. Oh, that one. There's nothing I can do for him. Now there's one more dead. One of my soldiers. The same white eyes. I want to know the cause of death. Who's dead? Keep your nose out of it. You didn't hear anything. Excuse me. Is Professor Sexton's fossil still at large? I think the fossil or whatever it is escaped. Jumped off the train. Miss Jones, I shall need your assistance. Yes, well, at your age, I'm not surprised. With an autopsy. Oh, well, that's different. Very curious. A genetic defect, obviously. Scalpel? Mm-hmm. Can you keep that still? Mm. What is he doing? Tree pen. Don't get up, please. decided to dine alone, Sir Alexander. I've eaten in worse circumstances and in worse company. And so. Here you are, Doctor. <laughs> You're in bad humor because you've lost your box of bones. of bones, madame, could have solved many of the riddles of science. If the theory of evolution is confirmed, if the science of biology is revolutionized, if the very origin of man is determined... I have heard of evolution. It's... it's immoral. It's a fact. And there's no morality in a fact. And what about the baggage man? And that poor thief at the station? What about them? They are dead. Was your creature responsible for that? Probably. And you don't care? A baggage man and a thief? as I should. Can you tell me how he died? Smooth as a baby's bottom. 
You saw this man today and he was normal. Absolutely. It must be a mutation, a freak of nature. What's so special about this brain? Learning and memory are engraved on the normal brain, leaving a wrinkled surface. This brain has been drained. The memory has been removed, like chalk erased from a blackboard. Thank you. It's all yours. I won't be long. It's Dr. Wells. Miss, are you all right?
Come in. Feeling better? Yes. Anything wrong? That woman who was killed. The engineer, you know, the uh, chess player. He told me that she was an international spy. Yes, I know. Oh, you do? Well, could that fact have had anything to do with her death? What do you think? Dr. Wells and I performed an autopsy on her. Her brain was completely smooth, just like the baggage man's. Everything had been erased. Now, I have a theory about this. I'm only a policeman, Professor. I don't have much education. Well, I'd make it simple. Supposing that creature, the one you killed, was capable of taking ideas directly from other people's brains and transferring them to its own. You mean it sucked other people's brains? Absorbed through the eyes. That was our first clue, the eyes going white. Then if the beast had absorbed your brains, all of your education would have gone into its brain. It would have been as clever as you. Much more so, because what it had taken from me would have been added to the learning that it already had. Professor, spy, baggage man, thief. What was the creature looking for? Well, that we'll never know, now that it's dead. And yet... What? A creature like that. How would it ever die? Inspector? What is it? I found this. The animal had it. The animal had it? Give it to me. It belonged to Count Petrovsky. How do you know? I saw him put it in the safe. Steel, harder than a diamond. That's why the spies are after it. French, German, English. But they're wasting their time. What really matters is the formula. And that gentleman is safe. Up here. What happened to the girl? The spy? She's dead. The fossil or whatever it was killed her. But there's no more danger, Countess. Beast is not dead. I put four bullets into him. You think evil can be killed with bullets? Satan leaves. The unholy one is among us. Oh, I don't know. The police inspector. The image has been retained in the fluid. Exactly. The creature's visual memory is located not in its brain, but in the eye itself.
identify anything? It's a Brontosaurus! A Pterodactyl! It's not a map. It can only be the Earth, seen from space. I hope I'm not intruding. People on the train are becoming afraid, Professor. People on long journeys become bored, Madame. They crave excitement. Then there's no more danger. It's all finished. And what about your science? The evolution you were talking about? Look for yourself. Come here, Pujado. There's something I want to show you. The eye of Satan. Nonsense. There's a scientific explanation. You know it? No. Not yet. Before the fall, before Satan was banished from the throne of God, the evil one looked down from heaven and did see... Rubbish! Pujarko! I don't know. He's gone mad. I'll look in the baggage car. Right. Miss Jones? You know about it. What's all the fuss? You get back that eye and there's a thousand rubles in it for you. A thousand rubles for an eye? There's something in it. Pictures. 
Pictures of what? Pictures of the Earth in prehistoric times. Pictures of the Earth seen from space. Who else has seen such pictures? Dr. Wells, Professor Saxton, and that pretty countess. I see. in your head of any use? Another killing. Stop the train! All right. I want to get off! There's no law! Quiet! There's been talk about getting off the train. Well, you can forget it. I'll complain to the authorities. I'm not one of your musics. If necessary, I'll shoot anyone who tries to stop the train. Shoot! Shoot, you stupid Russian! Who else has seen such pictures? Dr. Wells. Professor Saxton. And that pretty Countess. Well, Saxton, Countess. Well, Saxton, Countess. Well, Saxton, Countess. Wells, is this creature dead or not? If it is, who killed Miss Chen? Do you have any idea? No, Inspector, I haven't, but I've asked the conductor to wire ahead to stop the train at the next station. What's the idea? some contagious disease. Well, if there's a disease, there must be symptoms. Fever? You could take everyone's temperature. The eyes. Why do their eyes go white? I think 
it's true what they say about those horrible white eyes. Oh, that part is true enough. Oh, Inspector. It's only you now. What about me? Your eyes. We must examine your eyes, too. Certainly. Perhaps you should test for radiation or other invisible rays. X-rays? Well, it's a thought, but on this train, how would we go about it? Are you a scientist? An engineer, but I try to keep up with things. That's to be admired. Inspector, I suggest you tell all these people to stay together in groups or in pairs, so that if anything does happen to anybody, then somebody can raise the alarm. On no account must anybody be left alone. be here in exactly um, 14 minutes. 14 minutes? Yes, Your Honor. That's what it says here. Doesn't say it in words, Your Honor, but in code. It's like another language. I know about telegraphs, little papa. I know about trains. I know about electrical currents. On your feet, everybody. Outside, full pack. Even though I still believe in God, I don't like to be made a fool of. No, Your Honor. I wouldn't do that. Tell me, little father. You believe in the devil? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, good. Send a telegram. Tell him that Captain Kazan, he knows that a horse has four legs. He knows that a murderer has two arms. But still, the devil must be afraid of one honest Cossack. Hmm? to measure it? How to measure gravity? What I would like to know is, can gravity be overcome? Uh, if you mean, can man get beyond the gravitational field of the Earth into space? Not yet, but any day now. Someday? There is a mathematics professor. His name is Tchaikovsky. He has ideas about rockets. Machines that can fly free of the Earth's gravity. You know him? Tchaikovsky was one of my teachers. He was like a father to me. But why would a man like you be interested?
What do you think is behind all this, Excellency? Look at this. That's what we saw under the microscope. It shows the Earth, as it might look from space. What does it mean? It means that millions of years ago, something, some form of intelligence, came to the Earth from another planet. The atmosphere of the Earth was new to it, different. But it learned how to survive. How? By entering into the body and brain of an Earth creature, the fossil that I found and brought with me. And this thing from another planet survived the fossil, then came to life again? Exactly. Go on, Professor. The animal that you shot was only the host. And when that animal died, the alien intelligence transferred, uh, somehow, uh, to another host. It's alive in someone on this train. You're a very good detective. You've discovered everything except who is now the host. And that's our next step. Thought this might come in handy. A good idea. Two of you together, that's fine. But what if one of you is the monster? Monster? They're British, you know. But you must have seen something. I told you, I was asleep. He knew about the white eyes. He told me. When you fell asleep, the lights were on. And when you woke up? They were off. Are you sure? Positive. It was dark. I put the lights on. And that's when I found him beside me. When we did the test, the lights were on. Master. This steel at high temperatures, what happens to it? It gets stronger. What temperatures, for example? 10 or 12,000 degrees. Where on earth would you get such temperatures? Nowhere on earth. Siberia. This is Countess Irina Petrovska, and I'm Count Marian Petrovsky. Oh, Your Excellencies, I'm sorry. Of course, the Count and Countess are exempt from our orders. Please, escort them to their car. I'm an American, and I'm not accustomed to being bullied by foreigners. That man, he's the one who wouldn't let us get off the train. He's responsible. Your Excellency, I'm a police inspector. Everybody's under arrest! Including you. Who 
are the killers. Who? Who are the troublemakers? Who are the foreign influences, huh? Eh? Smoke them out. What's he raving about? You English believe in free speech, don't you, huh? Certainly. If instead of babbling nonsense, you'd investigate this property. Oh, this is outrageous. Oh. So. You are a police inspector, huh? Yes, Captain. Mirov is my name. Mirov? Oh, Mirov. Hmm. That's a good Russian name, Mirov. Tell me, Mirov. What do you know about all the filth that's going on here, huh? Filth? Oh, come on, Inspector. Certainly you know what I'm doing here, don't you? You just point out the suspects, and I promise you I'll get the truth out of them. You're mistaken, sir. Mistaken? Fool! Monk. Trying to protect you. Why? He's mad. Who are you? I told you, a policeman. innocent monks. All right, let's move these peasants out of here. Quickly!
angels in the dark. He can't play his little tricks in a strong light. In spite of everything, Pujado had a certain affection for you. Yet you humiliated him often. Even in front of the Countess. of energy occupying this shell. Where do you come from? Another galaxy. I came with others like myself. I was left behind. An accident. I survived in protozoans. Fish, vertebrates. The history of your planet is part of me. Pull the trigger, and you will end it. What am I to do with you? Let me go. That's not possible. It is possible. I will teach you to end disease, pain, hunger. Wait! There's something more.
Make room. Express when it goes through the switching point. Hey, that means killing everybody on board. That's what it says. Maybe there's a war. Maybe it's war.